David Siegel. I'm the CEO of The Pillar Project and CEO of 2030. The Pillar Project is an open source foundation to build the next generation crypto wallet and ecosystem platform. And 2030 is one of the companies in the world that is tokenizing equity. We're gearing up to issue equity tokens for companies raising money as a security token. Companies were creating tokens, their own token standards for their own issuance platforms and trading platforms. And I realized that if we just have our own standards, then those are going to be islands of equity tokens. And that's not a stock market, and that's not going to bring liquidity, and that's not going to bring lots of investors. You're not changing the game if investors can't eventually trade these things. And you can't trade them unless there's lots of people who want to buy and sell them. So to achieve scale, we need the same token standard. We have worked hard at 2030 on our own standard. Other groups have worked hard on their standard. It is now time to say that was a good learning experience. Now we're gonna to come together and adopt the same standard, govern the same standard, and use that same token standard. So when you send it to an exchange, just like the ERC-20 token, it's the standard that everybody uses and all exchanges will take it. Of course, these exchanges will have to be regulated. And of course, there will be rules about who can and cannot buy these things. But if we don't have the same standard, we won't make it as a new industry. So we got a bunch of people on a phone call from North America, from Europe, and we said, let's all get together. Let's have a meeting face to face. We'll have a workshop and we'll do it. We were very kindly and lucky enough to get hosting here at the beautiful Lithuanian embassy so that we could have a room for two days with good Wi-Fi and plenty of wall space to have a workshop. We've just finished two days of hard work with a bunch of volunteers from Switzerland, Lithuania, UK, Germany. Over the next couple of months, this standard will evolve. We'll be catching up with our friends in the North America next week and try to have a worldwide standard for equity tokens. We've got a couple other projects, but that's the main thing. We're now called the Digital Assets Standards Association, DASA, I guess. We'll have to come up with a logo, build a website, and start to communicate what we're doing because eventually what we want is that the whole world, every company in the world, puts its stock onto this token standard and we get worldwide liquidity, not just for startups, not just for scale-ups, not even just for private equity, but for all major stock markets in the whole world. So we hope this is the standard platform, data platform for stock for the 21st century. This workshop met all of our expectations. We decided we wanted to come together because we didn't know each other. We knew that two days together would give us just the right amount of time to get to know each other, to see what people's expertise is, what their biases are, how we could work together, get the group dynamics going, and then we continue working on off online. And that was exactly the right thing. I think now we made so we made more progress than I expected. So now I hope that by the end of, I was hoping maybe by March or April, we'd have a solid draft for review. I think we can do it now by, by end of January. Well, this is a worldwide effort and we're, we're working on behalf of people in the United States, but also Asia, Africa, uh, you know, places like Australia and, and uh, South America. We've got, we want to have a true standard that powers all markets. This digital standards and common formats can power an industry. If we didn't have SMS, you wouldn't be able to send an SMS from one kind of phone or one phone, you know, from Orange to T-Mobile to, you know, Vodafone. You wouldn't be able to do it. I mean, it's the standards that let us, you know, make, make things more affordable for everybody in the world, more inclusive. Bring the, bring the prices and the barriers to entry down for everyone. And so it's really important that 
we involve all of our part, you know, get partners and grow this organization. I guess expe I expect probably within the next year we'll incorporate as a kind of a foundation or some nonprofit. We'll have schedules of events, and uh, you know, we'll try to make this work even bigger. In this, in our approach, it's very practical. Right, we're we are not uh, defining the future stock certificate for 10 years from now as it should be, and we know that there are many steps to get there. And the first step is really to recreate what we've all independently discovered, uh, what we call a, an indirect ownership approach, so that the stock will go, all the stock will go into a registrar or a, uh, a custodian, and then that custodian will issue contracts as tokens that people can trade the tokens, and that's a contract to get the stock later. And that just avoids the legal problems we have when we call the token the stock. That's, that's gonna be the next phase. We hope to show that this works well. It's just like with dollars, right? Right now we're, we're issuing a lot, people are issuing stable coins that are supposed to be dollars because you can't actually have crypto dollars. They don't exist yet. But when the central bank changes its rules and issues a, a crypto dollar or a crypto euro, then we'll actually be holding the euros in our wallets rather than a claim to the euros. And that's exactly what we'll do with stock and I hope probably with many other securities as well or all kinds of assets that the, you know, the deed to your house is probably in some drawer somewhere, but eventually it'll just be on the blockchain and you'll have the private keys to it on your phone. And the same with the stock, uh, the ownership of a company. All the owners of a company will own their own stock without having an indirect method. So that's phase two. Right, we are a, an altruistic nonprofit group interested in changing the world. We have no profit motive at all. We're just trying, if it works for us, great, but what, you know, for our company is fine, but what we care about is financial inclusion, worldwide liquidity, more robust markets. If you think about it, right now, companies that do well, private companies, they get bought. They get bought by Google, Facebook, Amazon. That's how these companies get bigger and bigger. They, I think Facebook bought 500 companies in the last three years or so. Uh, this is just a tremendous sucking of talent toward the already large companies. And if we can provide more liquidity for their investors and market prices, that changes the whole landscape. We get more competition. We get more diversity in products. So we're asking for anyone who wants to join us. We're just volunteers. We're just here as a meritocratic group trying to help the world with an equity token standard. So if you understand the security laws in your jurisdiction. For example, Japan, Korea, Australia, Hong Kong, Singapore. If you understand the, the securities laws, please come send an email to me. I'm david at 2030.io. We're also doing a, a, a registry for names of all tokens. Forget about, it's not just security tokens. All tokens need a name registry. So when you have a name of a token, it resolves to a smart contract and it's the only token, it's the only name that token has. It's one name for one token. And uh, right now there are many name collisions, it's all done ad hoc. There are too many, it's not never gonna scale unless we have a, like a DNS system for the names of tokens. So we're looking for people who understand the DNS system, understand standards. Uh, maybe they've worked with ISO or ANSI, some of the standards groups before. We're looking for people who have this kind of experience with a, a real-time registry that can serve up the uh, resolution of these names to smart contracts and make those bridges. Technology people, uh, we have an architect, but we need a lot more. In fact, the most important thing we could ask for is, is supporters, sponsors, donors, people who will help us get the resources we need to build a minimum viable product. We don't need it on the token standard side, but we do need help on the, uh, to build a registry, to build a minimum viable product of a registry, show it, get people to accept it, and then build on it and build on it and build on it.